Yep, just over two weeks, Britta. And this here is a side of one of the buildings here uh, in Fort Myers Beach with the window frame. This is another side uh, right here. And as I come down, this is yet another part of the building here in Fort Myers Beach all collapsed. This is what search and rescue teams were combing through the past two weeks uh, looking for a miracle. Uh, and, you know, sometimes the best way uh, to understand what's happening on the ground is to go around and talk to all the different people, get a feel for it uh, as to what they're experiencing. And that's what we did yesterday. Fort Myers Beach, when you drive through it, you just can't actually believe what you're seeing. I'm going to stop the car so you can check out some of what I'm seeing, smelling, and feeling here on the ground. And you see the piles uh, in this neighborhood uh, behind me. They are stacked up eight, uh, 10 feet in some spots. The Fox Weather Beast are traversing uh, me and crew members through uh, these areas. But you look at this, and it is literally everywhere. This is just over two weeks since Ian came in, twisting and ravaging this region. Obviously, total devastation, many lives lost. Um, heard a few stories from residents that did ride the storm out. Uh, they actually had to go into neighbors' houses that were unoccupied just to save their life. This video was shot the morning that Hurricane Ian made its way in. Fast forward to today, and this is the same street that the storm ravaged in this historic beach community. Over 100 people lost their life, and a closer look at data on Ian-related deaths from the medical examiner's report show over 60% of those in Florida were the result of drowning. For those people who lost their lives, uh, we all mourn uh, with the families, and we honor those lost uh, due to Hurricane Ian by learning all those valuable lessons and getting better and building back and becoming more resilient as a community. That's how we're gonna honor those ones that have been lost. On Wednesday, Fort Myers Beach Fire Chief Ron Martin walked his hometown for the first time since search and rescue efforts ceased. Unbelievable, unbelievable the power of uh, Mother Nature. Unbelievable. It, there's literally just remnants of what used to be here in the, the center of the town, which was a major economic and tourism driver for our community. Um, but as with other communities that have faced this devastation, we will rebuild and we will rebuild stronger and better. Most of the fatalities happened here in Lee County on Fort Myers Beach, where the landscape is piled high and is catastrophic. Residents who evacuated and are now back, sifting through the remains, are reeling. So that being said, you know, we lost somebody relatively close to us. Do I blame them? No. Most people don't have the means to evacuate. We barely got a hotel room, and it was across the state. And Britta, you see those streets uh, with the ponding from the flash flooding yesterday as those intermittent thunderstorms came in here, uh, creating just yet another issue uh, for Fort Myers Beach, the devastated area. Uh, and these death tolls, the, the loss of life, uh, just very hard for residents here uh, to grapple with. Um, you know, this is a, a place where a lot of people knew uh, everybody. It's a, it's a tight knit community. And to think that, you know, 25% of the people that did lose their life were over 70, about 5% over 80, or I'm sorry, 25% uh, percent, uh, over 80, and about 5% uh, over 90. So these are folks that are, were elderly and in their golden years. And when the surge came in, it was too much. Uh, if they hadn't evacuated, many just didn't have the means to, Britta. And Robert, behind you, you can see the storm that is right offshore. You know, the video that you showed of yesterday of the water coming up in the streets, these thunderstorms are really, you know, making it hard to do all of this work. Is that kind of leading into the overall feel across Fort Myers? You know, obviously it's very heavy moments and then the weather's not helping. Yes, it is. And, and you can imagine just a downfall is coming down on 
debris like this. And you can hear the buzz in the back of, of people, you know, using jigsaws and chainsaws to get through all this. But look at just massive wood boards, you know, fans, pieces of cinder block. These are insides of restaurants uh, here and tourism areas. And as Ben walks here uh, through this, trying to make his way through the area, Britta, I will say this, but here's the hope. Look at that. I, I mean this sincerely. Th this is what gives the people, the workers, and the residents hope. They plant the flag, the American flag. You see this all over uh, the island. And it lets them know, uh, if they're down, that uh, they got to keep punching, that the perseverance needs to occur, because the road is long. It's paramount. It's mountainous uh, going forward here. And it's going to take months and years. Uh, but there is no doubt that they got it in them. Uh, they do. You talk to the police officers, which we've been doing all morning, and the fire officials, and you see the trucks coming in off the bridge, and look at the traffic of residents moving in. This is what you call positive energy right now. Motion. Putting your foot forward, your best steps, and getting it done. Boots are on, and the sleeves are pushed up, Britta. This is exactly what you want to see here in Fort Myers Beach. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.